greetings welcome back again to my youtube channel so today's video i'll be showing you how i prepare my tomato and paprika stew so here is my tomato onion paprika my fish already washed so the next thing now is i just want to boil the fish for like three minutes before i will start frying them and here as you can see the fish is already boiling so while boiling the fish i will start by chopping the paprika and the tomato onion and i just noticed i did not show the bell pepper that i used so i'm sorry about that guys so if you can see where i pointed the arrow the, the fresh pepper actually blended was inside the blender so i forgot to show that particular place so the fresh pepper is in there i blended everything the fresh tomato onion and paprika i blended everything together guys as you can see so the next thing now is to start frying the fish i use the head nose oil the real granite oil so that is what i use to fry the fish So right now I'm frying the fish as you can see the fish is frying and guess what guys this fish really stressed me and everywhere was messed the oils was just splashing everywhere I have to just off the stove and clean up everywhere before I proceed again so i'm done frying the fish guys as you can see the fish is wet fried now then i'm so also going to make use of the same oil i used to fry the fish to fry the the tomato so i will just filter the oil and transfer it to another pot i will start frying the the tomato but before i start i just added my basilic leaf the reason for that is I just need the aroma of basilico in the stew. Guys, this this recipe is everything, guys. The aroma is everything. If you try this recipe, you will thank me later. So after like two, three minutes, then I added my onion, my chopped onion, then I fry it for a while for like another three to four minutes before i added my blended tomato paprika onions and the bell pepper so guys this is what i'm actually doing right now so as you can see it's already three minutes then i'm just going to add my blended tomato if you have watched to this extent guys and you haven't subscribed please subscribe and on the notification bell whenever i upload a new video you will be the first to see it so i will add my curry powder just add a little curry powder not too much then give it a good stir oh my goodness just look at the goodness and the mercy of this stew guys just take a look at it so i will cover it and let it cook then here is my chicken seasoning i will be making use of this chicken seasoning is sorted so if you notice i did not add salt anymore because this chicken seasoning if you if you use this particular chicken you will know what i'm talking about you don't need salt even if you need salt you must test it first if salt is needed so i did not add salt again because salt was not needed anymore so at this point i will be adding my my fish i'll be adding my fish to the to the uh, stew sorry guys is it I'm having my fried fish 
Okay, let's go. Then I'll give it a good stir. Cover it for some minutes to cook. Here is it, guys. Oh my goodness. The aroma is everything. As I was... So, while preparing the stew, I was also cooking rice at the same time. And the rice is ready to eat. I'm just waiting for the stew to cook for some few minutes, then everything will be set, guys. Thank you for watching this video to this extent. And please don't forget to share, give it a thumbs up, and leave your comment below and tell me what you think about my recipe, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, and, and I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye bye for now. Stay blessed and stay cool.